So here's the deal. What we want you to do is take some water, fill up your water tower, and use a series of straws to deliver water to some fake homes in a pretend neighborhood. And each straw counts for 10 homes, but we do have a few rules. We don't want you going more than three straight straws in a row without turning your water system. And it's also a hilly neighborhood, so we want you to have at least two slope changes, either moving your pipeline up or down. And friends, there are no wrong answers here, so please be creative as you go about building your water system. But we're going to walk through a quick example of how we like to build ours so you at least have a reference. Here's a quick glimpse at some of the materials that you'll be working with. First off, you're going to want to get out a piece of paper and sketch out a design of your water system that you'll be building. In your materials, you will find two cups, one normal one and one with a hole at the bottom. We're going to be stacking these cups, and the one with the hole in it is the top of your water tower. Grab a piece of duct tape and bond the two together using that. Here's the finished product, which we can put to the side, for now. So next up, refer back to your design that you should have sketched on paper, and begin to lay your straws out in that orientation. Remember, you must make a few turns in your design. We recommend using the bendy portion of the straw to do so. The most important part of this project is making sure your straws are connected well. We're going to use this rubber tubing to make those connections. Start by sliding it onto one straw like a sleeve. You really don't need a long piece at all. If you want to do it the easy way, you can just slide both straws into the sides until they meet in the middle. The safer bet is to try to cut a slit into one of the straws, pinch the end, and then slide it into the other one underneath it. Or you could always use some of that extra tape you have to make sure the connection is secure. We're going to do that on every single spot where two straws connect. We promise you'll get the hang of it. Next up, we want to connect our pipeline to the water tower. The fit is designed to be a little snug, so give the straw a little twist when you put it in the hole in the cup. For reference, here's the size of the straw, and here's the size of the hole we need to fit it in. As you can see, it's much bigger. The best way to pull this one off is to stick the scissors in the straw as far as you can and then make that cut. That lets you twist it and then put it into the cup pretty far. Once it's in there, put the slice you made in the straw facing upward, not downward, because sometimes if it's facing downward, it will leak out. And finally, if you really want to cement things in, you can take some tape or hot glue and really press it up against there and make sure no water leaks out. Remember, we're going to be running water all the way through our pipeline. At the very end, we need something to catch it. Let's put down our bowl there. Remember, we need some elevation changes in our system. Luckily, we have a unique solution to help out. Stick some popsicle sticks into these foam cubes and make them cross over each other. Obviously, the further down you cross them, the lower the pipeline will sit. But if they're barely crossed at top, it can stand up pretty tall. This is something that may take a little bit of practice, so make a few that are of different heights and place them in different positions around the pipeline. If you're up for a challenge, see if you can use some of the given materials to try to do something like splitting the pipe, where it enters in one way and comes out in two. 